The Deadly Alliance was successful in reviving the mummified remains of the Dragon King's undefeatable army. It would appear that nothing could stand in the way of Shang Tsung and Guang Chi as they began their domination of the realms. Unfortunately for Shang Tsung, however, Quan Chi had no further need for the partnership. Once Shang Tsung had finally revived the last of the mummified warriors, Quan Chi closed the portal to the heavens and effectively shut off Shang Tsung's endless supply of souls. Quan Chi then instructed Kano to assassinate Shang Tsung in a surprise weapon attack. With their captor cut wide open, the thousands of souls Shang Tsung had consumed in the past spewed forth and swirled around the room. Quan Chi came to the realization that if Kano could so easily turn on Shang Tsung, he could also turn on Quan Chi himself. Quan Chi used his sorcery to drain the life from Kano and left his body where it fell. Immediately, one of the lingering souls shot into Kano's body. To Quan Chi's surprise, the man standing before him was no longer the black dragon thug known as Kano. Kano's body now contained the soul of the Shaolin monk, Liu Kang.